Hi Jazzy Greens, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time, my name is Liz and I'm so glad to have you guys. You are watching the Heaven's Pearls collaboration for the month of July, also my testimony. So as you can see from the title, I am back. But before we get started with um, the Heaven's Pearls collab, I'm gonna share with you guys just a little bit of my testimony, just letting you know what happened, what I've gone through. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna be looking down you guys because I've got my notes on here. I have a few topics that I wanna highlight. Um, and if I start fanning, excuse me, because it's hot. <laughs> I have the air on, but I, I didn't cool off yet. So my face is just shining. But anywho, what happened? Okay, with me and my family, my husband, myself, and Aaron. Okay, back in December of 2022, we had a water leak in the house. By the way, uh, it's not, it's a rented house. So. And we contacted the owner, which we didn't know it was a water leak. We just noticed that we would get up in the morning and slush, slush on the carpets. And it was just terrible. I mean, we. We would just walk around and you really could feel the slush of the water all between your feet and shoes and everything. And the owner did not seem like he was very surprised. He didn't sound like and he didn't make it sound like it was urgent to him. And it was, okay? So we dealt with that and he got his people to come in and supposedly check it out. And there was a pipe that was busted. Hmm. a pipe that was busted, okay? And I wonder how did that pipe get busted? Me and my husband, we have our um, our doubts about it, although we, we're not professionals, neither is the owner. But um, we went through that, and then all of a sudden he said, the owner said that he wanted to renovate the home. So, okay, we're thinking, okay, we'll move somewhere temporary, and then when you finish the house, we'll move back in. That's what we thought. No, he had something else in mind, okay? I think he wanted us to move out. I think he wanted to do whatever he wanted to do with the house, okay? And it may be some foul play in there, which, you know, we have no proof of. So us being Christian people, you know, we just kind of went with the flow and just we cooperated with him. So um, he wanted us out very, very fast faster than we could even pack our stuff up, okay? So he, I guess he hired his insurance company or whatever, and they came to the house and they helped us pack. Literally, they packed the whole house up. I won't say they helped us, they did it. So they brought in all this paper, all these boxes. I mean, they were going boom, 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 real fast, everything was a rush 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 too much rushing i didn't have time to even gather my uh things like um my jewelry you know set that aside put that in the car which i would have done that but everything was rush 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 and so that's what happened they packed us up and then we were out of there and i don't remember the timing if it took a week or two that i don't even remember so i'm just going to just tell you what it was um I mean, I try not to even think about it. So after this video, I don't want to think about that ordeal ever again, okay? But anywho, um, yeah, so we moved. And then, let me see, where did we go? I think we ended up going with family. Yeah, we did go with family. We didn't know where we were going to go. So uh, my husband's brother uh, took Aaron in. And then my mother took me and my husband in. Now, I didn't want to go live with anybody, neither did Sam or Aaron, but we had to do what we had to do because it was such a bad, uh, everything was just off. Everything was depressing. It was just terrible, okay? Um, so that's pretty much what happened. That's, that's what started the whole ordeal. Uh, I can't give every little detail because we'll be here forever. <laughs> and we stayed there pretty much for from December on to, was it June? Yeah, June, the middle of June. June the 16th is actually when we, no, the 17th. The 16th was the last day 
you know, sleeping over. And then the 17th of June, we finally moved. Okay, but let me rewind. We did not stay there exactly until June. We ended up, me and my husband ended up at a hotel. Um, the reason is because um, my mother got sick and hasn't been doing very well. And it's been a kind of a terrible ordeal on that end. So we had to, me and my daughter had to get rid of her apartment. And she's, my mother's been in and out of the hospital, um, uh, nursing facilities, you name it. Okay, and now she ended up staying at a board and care home. That's where she's at currently. So, you know, you have to pay for the board and care, right? So no one can do both, the apartment and that. So we went ahead and just packed up everything in her apartment. And I got some things that I wanted. My daughter got some things that she wants. So we kind of distributed evenly and gave some things away to other people. So... Um, that's what happened with that and me and Sam had to end up moving to a hotel well not really moving to a hotel but we ended up at a hotel um, we had family helping us we had uh, the church coming in to assist us um, and it was just very emotional it was just very stressful it was just just a not a good situation that you want to be in okay i wouldn't wish this on my i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy excuse me for getting emotional because oh boy it's been a lot you guys it has really been a lot i don't have time to really explain detail detail and some things are personal i don't want to go into it too much but if you knew uh, if you knew the level of stress that I have been in, my husband has been in, um, my son, all three of us have been through a lot of stress. Oh, thank God for his saving grace. Thank God for his mercy and his goodness and his grace and his, his healing power and just everything. Okay, so we stayed at a hotel. Um... Then I think we stayed at another hotel. Um, and the last hotel that we stayed in, um, was, which was really, really nice. And thank God for my church coming to assist us. They paid for um, a week. We, needed a two, we thought we needed two weeks. But however, God moved on our behalf. And I won't talk about that yet. Uh, we only needed one week. So thank God for that one week. And I believe one of my uh, sister-in-law said that, why don't you guys just try to go for a week? And I'm thinking, well, we may need two or three weeks. You know, what if we do? Who's gonna pay for the other weeks? You know, I'm kind of like going into a panic state, worried state, wondering what's gonna happen. I mean, it was just, ah, uh, man. Okay, then <laughs> we would look for homes on a computer looking up different websites, looking for homes, making calls, doing all that we needed to do. And then we got blessed with, um, I guess you call it a home consultant. I don't know if that's the, the, the correct name, but I'm just gonna call it home consultant. This lady was there to assist us and help us find a home. Um, it was getting kind of touch and go because we had a time limit. And of course we wanted a three bedroom home. That's what we really want. And we went through some of the, the, um, the, we went through some of the applications for the homes and you're spending so much money for the application fees, not having enough money for some of them. We had to let some of them go. And then, you know, it, the houses wasn't coming through and then people were saying, well, why don't you go for an apartment? I'm like, I don't want an apartment. I don't want to live in an apartment. My husband did not want to live in an apartment. There's so many not so good things that we've experienced. We just said we were not going to live in an apartment, but if push comes shove, we would. Okay, well push, shove, that push and shove was really coming, okay? And I said, well, what about a town home? I mean, first we didn't want to live there, but we took it meaning we said we'll take it we'll take anything okay um i've got to go faster because of time's sake 
Um, so that's what we did. We looked for a home on the computer and then we hired a home consultant to help us about the home consultant. Uh, she was pretty good at helping us in the beginning. However, she kind of flaked out and I don't know, for whatever reason, she just turned out to be a flake, meaning she just stopped contacting us. My husband contacted her and she said that she was going out of town. So we're thinking, okay, when well you go out of town, you'll come back and let us know. Well, that did not happen. So the rest is history. That was very, very disappointing. We were just like, gosh, what am I gonna do? It came to us about, well, maybe we may have to live in our cars. I even said that, I was so frustrated. So frustrated and so, you know, I have to say scared because it was just like, I could pull my hair out. I literally could have pulled my hair out and I did get grayer since this ordeal. I mean, my hair is so gray now. I mean, you still see some of the brown in it, but stress, the stress is not good. The stress can kill you, you know? So um, family was saying, and my husband was saying, we're not gonna live in, a, in, a, um, in our car. And I said, well, it just seemed like we was because I said, well, look what's happening. We're not finding anything. People are turning us down left and right. I mean, it was just a bunch of frustration. And I'm like, look, okay. My attitude was, and it wasn't the right attitude, but I was so frustrated. And I didn't mean to have the attitude, but I was just like, Lord Jesus, please help us. Help us, Lord, help us. We need help. I mean, we're gonna be homeless pretty soon. I mean, that's, that's pretty much, we were. Okay, we were homeless. I mean, we were living out of our bags, even in my mother's house, living in our bags. There was only one bedroom, so she let us have that. And Aaron was living out of his bag, out of his bags. I mean, he didn't have a bedroom, so he slept on a one of those little cot type, uh, blow up type um, things, you know, those uh, mattresses. And he had no privacy, but we managed. We we had to just do what we had to do. Life then was not comfortable. I tell you, it wasn't. I prayed. We all prayed. Trust in God. Let me tell you something. When you pray, you must give it to God. You must trust God for what you believe and expect for him to come through. Now, I did but sometimes I kind of wavered a little bit. I had to get myself back in line, okay? I mean, we're all human, but I was, I really was trusting him though. At some points I wavered and I had to ask him to forgive me because I didn't mean to do that, but it was just, and God knows our heart, you know, but praying every day, several times a day, I mean, just and thanking him for the promises, thanking him for our new home. I did that seven days a week, several times a day. I mean, just really, sometimes I would go on a fast. I think I fasted for two weeks. My son went on a fast. I don't know how long he did, but we did all of that. And um, I tell you, it's just been an ordeal. And then, um, unfortunately, I lost one of my sister-in-laws. She was 80 something years old. This is recent, uh, at least a couple of weeks ago. Um, we lost her. So we just pray for, you know, her children, grandchildren, great grand, all of us. So I'm asking you guys, if you would pray for my family and, um, just lift everybody up, okay? And I really thank you and appreciate that. Okay, so yeah, when we were in the hotel, the very last one, I love that hotel. I just felt so comfortable there. Not that I wanted to stay, I did not. And I would go downstairs early in the morning, you know, and all the mornings, get me and my husband some breakfast, coffee, whatnot, bring it upstairs, and then I would go back downstairs with my AirPods in my ear, praying, I would read my Bible, and, um, you know, just do what I do every day, just doing, you know, praying and giving my time to God like I always do, not just because of our situation, just because that's what I do. I live a life of Christ. So um, I would... Um, confess positive affirmations. I had so many of them written down. I had so many stored in my brain and I would just keep confessing it. 
no matter what the situation looked like, sometimes things just did not work out. I kept confessing that we have a home. God is blessing us with a home. We have a home, yada, 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 all of that. I just did that and I kept doing it. I was steadfast with that. And um, even throughout the difficulties, And, you know, God is just so good. Now, um, we were working with some agencies to help us as well. And let me tell you, you, you just, you know, that's why trusting God is so important in everything that we do, whatever situation we find ourselves. Because people are going to be people. You know, the agencies that we were working with, they were um, kind of like being flaky, not giving us what we needed and, and doing what they said they were going to do on time. And I'm like, look, we don't have time, okay? Do you want us to be out in the street? Come on, help us. So literally, I was pleading. And I remember sometimes when me and my husband were inside the agency talking to the lady and, you know, I'm doing like I'm doing now, getting emotional and trying to be strong. But I'm like, we need your help. We need your help, please. You know, if you can just move a little faster because it just seemed like we were gonna be on the street. And even my husband had to remind me, we're not gonna be on the street, we're not. I'm like, okay, I know we're not, but it feels like it. So we went through all that. Now, let me fast forward because time's sake. Now the good news, okay, we're in that hotel. And then we, uh, I think we got a call from the lady that we were dealing with, um, at one of the agencies, and she gave us good news. Woo! She told us that we got approved for this townhouse, and that's what we're in now, a townhouse. And I was just like, hallelujah! Woo! God is so good. Oh my gosh, you just don't know how many months we've been through this stuff. You don't know what we have gone through. And I told the lady, and we had to go back to her, and I'm crying like I am now. And I told her, we've been through so much. And she said, I know you have. I know you have. You guys have been through a whole lot. And I said, God came through for us. Let me tell you how he came through. Not only that he bless us with the home, but it was the way it happened, guys. The process was supposed to take approximately two to three weeks. God turned it around and made it two or three days. Woo! Now you tell me that is not God, okay? Yes, he came through in two to three days out of that two week period. And I was just like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Oh, I was just so happy. Praise the Lord, raising my hands, just OMG, just so, so thankful, so happy. I was so relieved. Oh, God is so good. He's so good. Now, you may not understand the dynamics of this. You may think, oh, what's the big deal? Well, you haven't been through what I've been through. You don't know, my God. If you understood the time factor of how this process was supposed to take and God turned around and made it in two to three days, then you will be rejoicing too. And I know some of you are, so thank you so much. But um, it's just... You know, I just wish I had a, more time to really go into it more in depth, but I don't. But let me tell you, my God did it, okay? God came through for me, and he'll come through for you. Whatever you are going through in your situation, if you pray, believe him that he will turn it around, he will do it. Let me tell you, I'm a witness to it, okay? I was determined that God was going to work on our behalf. I knew it and I expected it. And he did just that. God gets all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in this situation. Because I'm telling you, this was literally a miracle. And I say a miracle because of the way it happened, the timing. It wasn't supposed, in the natural, it wasn't supposed to happen. The, as fast as it did but of course it was in my sake it was supposed to happen because I prayed I believed God I trusted him 
you know, I've been through so, so much, you guys. I'm telling you. And I just don't have enough time to really express to you, you know, how good God is. But some of you already know how good God is, okay? But anyway, I'm going to just let this um, come to an end because I've got to get on with the Heaven's Pearls collaboration. So I just give all the glory and honor and glory to God. And I want to especially thank so many of you who prayed for me and my family in our situation. Um, I didn't write down any names. You know who you are. Um, but I will, I just want to let you know, I really appreciate all of your prayers, everyone. Some of you went beyond the call of duty. Some of you blessed me with money. You sent me money for me and my family and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I cannot believe I'm crying on this, <laughs> this camera like this. And I said to myself, I'm not going to edit it out either. Anyway, thank you guys so, 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 so much. So thank you for listening. Thank you for um, your time. And now I'm going to transition and share with you my tablescape for the Heaven's Pearls collaboration. The Heaven's Pearls, we are a group of like-minded Christian women who come together once a month to bring you videos that we feel that will bless you and inspire you. And I hope that this video has done that with my testimony. I wanted to do it this way because I thought it was fitting. You know, it, it ties into it's God. So I just wanted to do it this way. So um, the Heaven's Pearls, their channels will be in my description box along with the playlist. So please watch everybody's videos and I really would appreciate it. Now the Heaven's Pearls, uh, we are Candy, um, Tablescapes by Candy. Um, there's Creations by Simone, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, uh, Debbie Bubbles, and myself decorating with Jazzy Green. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please at the end of this video click on that subscribe button if you'd like to become a part of the Jazzy Green family. I don't know why you wouldn't, but I would really appreciate it and double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos. And I love you guys. You take care. You be blessed. And remember, God is good. Bye. Our scripture reference is Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. As long as the earth endures, sea time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night will never cease.